A coworker of mine fought in May of 2015, and I went to the event, and it was epic. It seemed like an incredible opportunity to do something that would make a massive difference in the mission to knock out cancer. We have about a month long sign up period for each of our signature boxing events. There's a standard application where essentially you just kind of list all your basic information. We take down your age, your height, your weight. You know, if you have any type of athletic experience, which is frankly not required. You're telling us why you want to sign up to fight. What is driving you to participate? Have you been to an event? Do you know any alumni that have fought? And also, you know, what your plans are on the fundraising front, because ultimately the fundraising side is just as important, if not more important, than training and preparing to get into the ring on fight night. It really doesn't matter what your background is. I think the most important thing is that reason that you're fighting and why you're signing up. After submitting your application, you'll receive confirmation of that. And then from there, um, behind the scenes, our boxing ops team will be actively trying to make matchups and see who's a good fit. If we're able to match you with a suitable opponent, we'll reach back out, let you know that you've been accepted, or unfortunately rejected or deferred to another event. Haymakers runs an awesome orientation where you go through a bunch of slide decks and learn about what you're getting into for the next four months. They answer all the questions that you might have running in the back of your mind, and they really do a good job at making sure that you're ready for this and with you every step of the way. Fundraising is a huge part of your Haymakers for Hope journey. You're committing to a certain um, fundraising goal. I would say from the beginning it was uh, start early and start often. You don't leave any stone unturned in your training for four months. The same thing with the fundraising. Each participant has the opportunity to select a benefiting organization that they'd like to support with a portion of their proceeds. If there's not a specific charity in mind, that's okay. All the funds go towards research, care, awareness, and survivorship. In order to do that fundraising, you have a custom page on the Haymakers for Hope website. This is an opportunity for each participant to tell their story, to accept donations, and really get the word out about Fight Night. So the matchmaking process that Haymakers does in finding your opponent is very serious. You're matched by weight, you're matched by height, you're matched by age, and you're matched by level of experience. We're not gonna match somebody that has had a ton of sparring experience with someone that has never been in a boxing ring before. You know, we really do our due diligence to make sure that those matchups are fair and even. You're also sending sparring videos, you're sending mitt work videos, bag videos, so that when Haymakers eventually matches you with the person that you're gonna potentially be fighting, you're not going in afraid to fight that person because you know that it's gonna be a fair fight. Haymakers for Hope works with many different USA Boxing registered gyms across each of our signature event cities. Typically, Haymakers likes to pair you up with a gym that's either close to your home or close to your work so that it's very easy to make sure that you can make those sessions. The training is a ton of time. It's four months of really hard work for six minutes of action, which does not sound like a lot, but it does require so much hard work, so much effort in that ring on fight night you wanna know that you gave it your all. Sometimes it takes up as much time as a full-time job. For me, I was in the gym in the morning training. I was there after work. If you're a first-time fighter, you'll typically start just by learning technique and learning the basics of boxing, and then you continue to progress on those throughout the four months of your journey. You put a lot of work into those days and those hours, and sometimes you didn't wanna get up, but you knew that you had to because you were fighting for people that maybe can't get up. Some people have to lose a lot of weight and you know, you have to commit to your diet just as much as you are committing to the training aspect. You can work with professionals that will help you get there in a healthy and safe way so that you're in the best shape, but then also have a lot of energy when you go into the ring for the first time on fight night. Two months into your training journey, that halfway point, we have 
day sparring and media day and it's at a gym in your city and everybody comes together. You spar your opponent, you do two two minute rounds and that's really just to make sure that it is a fair and equal match. Our exclusive filmmaking partner Gauntlet Films is on site to make everybody there look completely badass. They set up a ton of different stations. It takes all day, but it's so much fun. You get this super badass video. It's helped with fundraising because people can see like what you're actually up to and maybe this would be a cool event to go to if this is what we're seeing at the beginning. Once you've sparred your potential opponent, it becomes very real. It sets in that I'm gonna fight in the ring in two months and your training sort of picks up and so does your fundraising. Social media posts, matching gifts for people you know in your network that have companies who will also support. There's sponsorship opportunities, so your business or people within your network have an opportunity to basically bring their corporation into the fold. We also provide you with a bunch of different assets from Media Day, whether that's videos and photos to post on your social media, templates um, for you to share via email, ways to approach people about different sponsorship opportunities, as well as helping you to push out your ticket sales. So if fundraising is something that intimidates you a little bit, just know that the Haymakers team is here as a support system to help make sure that you hit and surpass your fundraising goals. Come fight night, you'll arrive at the venue. You'll be checked in, you'll receive a goodie bag full of fight night items, compliments of our partners, and then you'll do weigh-ins, which are backstage. You'll also see the USA Boxing Association's physician to receive a physical. And then you basically will get together with your trainer, go over your game plan, get your hands wrapped, and get ready to box. Doors open promptly at 6.30. First fight starts at 7.30 and it's off to the races. You get to select a walkout song. You're walking out under these lights. It's lit up whatever color corner you're coming out of. If they got that 50K belt for hitting their 50K fundraising, they're walking out holding the belt up over their head. There's people screaming. People have signs with people's faces on it. They're sold out most of the time. 2,000 people in the crowd. For me, I just saw a sea of people just screaming my name. People wearing the t-shirt that I sold as part of my fundraiser. Boxers coming out with custom robes on and an incredible production value that really can only be experienced in person. There's really everything out there in the crowd and people go bananas. I mean, it feels like you are at a concert. The energy that you get in the ring is built a lot off of feeding off of the crowd. It truly does create a special environment. It's so cool to be in that ring and hear your name being chanted. Fight Night really is just a celebration of all your hard work and a celebration in front of your friends, your family, your colleagues. So being an alumni is a really cool perk of the Haymakers community. We've now had over a thousand first time amateur charity boxers come through the program. We host events every year in the different cities so that alumni can get together. We have special offerings like pre-parties, post-parties, you know, around the signature of training events. Get you early access to sign up for things like our golf tournaments. You also get early access to sign up for marathon or different bibs that we have access to. Through the alumni community, I've also created a lot of strong relationships with some of the past fighters who weren't even in my year. I did not go into this thinking that I was gonna have a family after this event, and that really has been what Haymakers has become for me. It's a bond that you share that no one else can really relate to. Some of my strongest relationships have been born out of this experience. If you're thinking about fighting and whether you're on the fence or you're all in, this was hands down the best experience of my entire life. Definitely do it. It was the best four months of my life and I know that the other thousand fighters that have gone through this will strongly say the same. Don't let this opportunity pass you by. Don't let it be something that you wish you did. It's gonna be the greatest experience of your life and it would be silly not to sign up.